So, with Agnes's help, I borrowed his stock. Not her again. Well, if it is, she doesn't have her gun. That should comfort you. Not much. Is that you, Brody? Yeah, wait a minute. <gasps> friend of Geiger's. Oh, leave me alone, you bastard. This is a small pistol, kid. Would you like a small hole right through the middle of your gullet? Now, look. Now, we're going to walk slowly down to my car. You're going to get in it and drive me to Uncle Geiger's house. What's your name? Carl Lundgren. Well, you shot the wrong man, kid. Joe Brody didn't kill your boyfriend. All right, you've got a key. Let's go. Who says I have a key? Your friend Geiger gave you a key. <coughs> Why don't you shoot me? There seems to be three people who have a key to this house. You, me, and Eddie Mars. That means that you or Eddie Mars dragged Geiger's body out of here and hid it. I think you. Now, where is it? <coughs> You are so helpful. Here they are then, lined up for the judges and for us. 68 of the world's most beautiful girls for the Miss World contest. Favorite Mr. Bookie is Miss Guatemala. Her hobby is croquet and reading... Guatemala? I said I've been very busy these past several hours. I think it's time we all had a little get-together. I call Commander Barker of C Division. All this is in his area. Always glad to help the department. Hello, oh, Jim. There's the employer. I was at a reunion dinner. What's all this about? Mr. Marlowe here, he's a private detective, caught this man, Carl Lundgren, who shot a man called Brody dead and ran away a couple of hours ago. You caught him? All by myself. Willis, what have you got on the Randall Way killing? Corpse called Joe Brody with three bullets in it. The brunette, Agnes Lozell. She was in the apartment when Brody was shot. Claimed she didn't see the killer. Is that all? It only happened an hour ago. Mr. Marlowe here just delivered the man he says murdered Brody. Here's his gun. Tell your story, Marlowe. You heard about the car that was fished out of the sea this morning with the corpse in it? No. The dead guy was chauffeured to a rich family named Sternwood. Last night, he shot and killed a guy named Geiger in this area. I couldn't bear to hear all this twice, Marlowe. You may as well make a statement of it at the same time. I told my story. I left out two things, not knowing why at the time. I left out Camilla's visit to Brody's apartment and Eddie Mars's visit to Geiger's house in the afternoon. I told the rest of it just as it happened. Sign it. So it seems the chauffeur Taylor committed suicide. Yeah, that's my guess. Who hit Geiger's body, then? Lundgren, the kid I gave you, must have done it. I suppose he came back while I was taking Camilla home, dragged Geiger's body out to the garage, and then later decided he hadn't done right by his friend, so he came back and laid him out on the bed. We'll keep the books, Marlowe. These blackmail notes from General Sternwood are yours. Thank you. And let me tell you something. 
I'm a close friend of old man Sternwood. In my time, I've done all I can to save him grief. But in the long run, those girls of his are bound to do something no one can hush up. This didn't start with Geiger. It started with Rusty Regan disappearing. What started? I think that's what the old man really wanted you to find out. It was close to 11 when I got back to my apartment. I'd concealed a murder and suppressed evidence for 24 hours, but I was still at large and nobody seemed unduly worried. As I got to the door, I heard my television was on. I wasn't in, so I guess somebody else must be. Tough tonight. And now we do keep our friends waiting, don't we? I smell a policeman. I'm too tired to talk. I'm too tired to eat. I'm too tired to think. Oh, don't worry, there's no damage. You see, we didn't feel that it was necessary. And besides that, the lobby was becoming so fearfully boring. It's fascinating on the way out. Why don't you try it? May I tell you something, Sylvia? I'm nice to be nice to, but I'm not nice not to be nice to. If you listen real hard, you'll hear my teeth chatter. There were police at Guy. Did you keep me out of it? Why should I? Did you? Yeah, I kept you out of it. I don't know why. I guess it was just complicated enough without you. Thank you, Sonia. Who killed Guy? The chauffeur. I hear you're looking for Rusty Regan. A lot of people seem to think I am, but uh, I'm not. Well, just in case you are, I might have an idea for you. Why don't you pop around and see me at the club any time? Maybe. You see, Marlowe, I have a funny feeling that it would be very amusing to meet you again. General Stanwood's residence. This is Marlowe. Remember me? Mr. Marlowe, of course. Is Mrs. Regan in? I believe so, sir. Shall I just go and see? No, just give her a message, will you? Tell her that I have the pictures, all of them, and that everything is all right. You got that? Oh, yes. You have the pictures, and everything is all right. May I say thank you, sir? Of course. <laughs> 